Good evening, ladies and gents. As the quarantine is in full swing, and for all of you future viewers who are very confused at this point, it is the time when COVID-19 hit the world, and where most people ended up stuck at home, finding entertaining things to do, you know, such as watching paint dry or googling your closest divorce lawyer. That being said, today is the story of my experience with City Skyline. As every game on PC starts off, it starts off by opening up our beloved Steam account. Found Skyline on sale, which was great. Base price was a bit much, especially since I saw the amount of DLCs involved. Holy Jesus! What is that? So I chose the Deluxe Edition, which is awesome. As it has a few DLCs from the endless list of DLCs, and hell, throwing down 100 bucks for the full game is a bit much. So, I did remember when I did play it a few years back is that a slow expansion is needed at the start. Slowly building up my fledgling city broke the zero mark and actually started to make some money. And by making money, I mean, well, barely breaking around 10k. Expanding and expanding I went, and no matter how big the city got, I could barely rake in some serious crispy monies. That wasn't the problem. The problem was that I had a ton of dumps full without a way to manage the waste. Nope, not gonna grab an asset off the store. So back I went, found that the recycling center required the Green Cities DLC. And no, building a crap ton of incinerators isn't the way I wanted to go. Awesome, finally progressed. Shit, not really. Now my damn cemeteries are full. Thanks God, the crematorium was at least included in this one. So off I went burning through the dead. Keep in mind, while this is going on, the whole time I'm so frustrated of not understanding why my profits keep fluctuating like crazy. What I have found, well, your income fluctuates more unpredictably than the stock market. Your industries and commerce import goods from other cities, as it takes a bit of time for your local goods to arrive to them. And no, you can't control which goods they import or which goods you export. You don't really have a clue of what exact amounts are needed. So your profits fluctuates, still not understanding why, your inability to control your imports or exports, and of course the deciphering of what goods, products and resources are the ones you need to be producing by figuring out which one of those are being imported. Because you want to stop those little buggers importing stuff. Because, you know, we in it for the people. So that just adds another seesaw ride to your income. And by jolly, we're not done yet. But let's not stop there. The dead people have come back to haunt us again. But this time, you have your mass deaths that just appear every now and then. Because, you know, people die once in a while. And to add over all that, you do have to keep in mind that the day and night cycle does actually affect profits. Because people do need to sleep. As you know, you know, realism. So in short, don't expect your income to stay stable. The thing will jump around more than a rabbit on coke. So finally the master plan was set. I knew what I had to do to make the most money out of this. Industries was the way to go. The only issue is, I just realized I don't have all the cool funky farms and industries that I can place. I was watching Biffa's videos and Biffa had all this cool stuff. He had like slightly different UI, he had nicer stuff and I'm like, I want that too. Why the hell don't I have that as well in my game? Back to Google I went, who knew, silly me. Obviously I don't have the DLC. So back we go. Now I'm determined, more than ever. Got my industry DLC, got my garbage recycler, got my cremators, hell, got even some damp snow sprinkled on top, just in case. So back to the drawing board. And since industries makes the most money, industries it is all the way. I would juice the crap out of it. So off I went, building every single industry I could find. Finding out that raw resources aren't infinite, but they didn't care, we could import materials. I just needed access to the raw materials so I could spam mines and farms to get my beloved industries to the 5 star rating. So I could unlock all the product manufacturing plants and of course the ultimate profit makers and produce my own damn goods. So an hour later I build up my ultimate city design. Screw the mining of raw resources, importing them is dirt cheap. Designed the ultimate city layout set to maximize my residents, have them leveled up as quick as possible. Because if I haven't learned anything yet, is that building my 50th city, I'm getting a bit tired of laying out the damn squares. And yeah, you don't really need commerce to max them out. But I'm feeling good now, making money, understanding the mechanics of the game, understanding that you can choose or control your imports and exports, but hell, you can make your citizens work to death. Educating them up to the max level, making them work low-level educated jobs, because by jolly, when you don't have a choice, you do whatever it takes to get by. And that all your university grads are going to do any job they can get. 
So obviously you make sure they all have their shiny doctor's diplomas because nothing makes you feel better than putting your whole life in student loan debts to get minimum pay. So Money City is finally coming to life, smart people doing everything, but still I just needed to squeeze in a bit more. Figured out you can invoke a few policies. A policy that doubles production, a policy that doubles efficiency. And for those of you who are actually playing it normally in half commerce, there's one that actually changes the education requirement to high educated workers. You know, just saying. Well, at this point, I'm pretty happy with myself. With 15K population, making around 130K average, on a lucky day, 200K a pop. Of course, you could go about this differently and build a beautiful city, such as Heavyware did. Though with 165K population, he is netting around 100K. Well, I was done. Put up my feet, threw on some YouTube to see what's going on. I did get a recommendation of Biffa's review on Sunset Harbor, so why the hell not? Let's see what it got. Guess what? There are more industries added. What? What the fuck? I hope you guys enjoyed my story of City Skyline. As always, all links in the description below, including my grid template that I'm using, including my city as well. Happy gaming, everyone, and take care.